My character presents himself as so kind and benevolent and really wanting the best for others. This is the face of a good man. I wanted the audience to know that there was something subterranean happening and that to be mistrustful of that kindness. Do I have a meat? Oh, bollocks. And I started just thinking about a lot of, you know, when you read about the lives of saints and different holy people, they, they often have some secret self-laceration happening, some, you know, in the desire to overcome passion or, you know, all the stuff of life, greed and things like that, they're, they're often somehow hurting themselves. So I thought that that would be an interesting thing to build on. So, so I somehow had this vision of him putting broken glass in his shoe and listening to Bob Dylan. I thought that would be an interesting character. And then when you see him being kind, you know, there's something else happening here. What's up with this guy? I am trying to help you. And that really, I guess, started from why does he need a cane to help him walk on glass? It's a very interesting experience to have, like in the history of cinema, they're always using mental illness to create villains. He's crazy, he's mad, he's got this, he broke out of a mental institution. And in our story, the hero is mentally ill. And so that changes what is possible from the villain. Because now all of a sudden, if villains are usually in some shape or form the opposite of the hero. And so how could I be a sane, malevolent force? You know, you think of somebody sane, then they must be kind. And so I started coming up with this idea of a doctor slash priest figure that could on one level be trying to heal the world and heal the hero and also be malevolent and creepy and sinister and what that would be. And I don't know about you, but often we're scared of doctors and often we're scared of priests. And I thought that that would be something I could build on to create an original person that might work well for this particular hero who's suffering from mental illness.